The government of Tanzania says that you had the opportunity to review and opine them. Are you saying that the government is wrong? The government is right, but they are reviewed on it on behalf of the mines commissioner. So, so if the government I is provided is, my technical advice to the commissioner for his decision, so he is responsible. So if the government is right there, that means that you took part in the approval of those license applications, didn't you? I advised them. You advised them, and you advised them to approve them, didn't you? I need a verbal answer, sir. Sorry? I need a verbal answer. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. Yeah. So in 2013 and 14, it was your view that they met the technical requirements for a retention license. But fast forward to 2020 and 21, and all of a sudden they don't meet the requirements. Isn't that right? We were lenient to investors at that time. Oh, so you weren't lenient to investors in 2021, but in 2013 and 14, you were much more permissive. And telling the truth. Okay. And those applications were also reviewed by the Mining Advisory Board pursuant to Section 37.3 of the Mining Act 2010, correct? Correct. And that Mining Advisory Board was comprised of members of the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Environmental Protection, the Lands Ministry, a senior state attorney, an academic like yourself, and someone from the Tanzanian Chamber of Minerals and a mining expert. Isn't that correct? That's correct. And they all evaluated those applications in 2013 and 14 and approved them, didn't they? Yes. And let's look at tab C9, which is exhibit C. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, tab 14, which is exhibit C9. Now, it's on the screen as well, Professor Aruma. Yeah, it's better. This is just one of the retention licenses. And do you see that it was approved by Professor Sospiter Mahungo? Yes. Do you see that? Yeah. And he was the Minister for Energy and Minerals, correct? Correct. And he was a trained geologist, wasn't he? Yes. In fact, he was one of your fellow faculty members in the geology department at the University of Dar es Salaam, correct? Correct. So he must have really known what he was doing with that extensive geological experience when he was at the ministry. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. He knew. And he's still a current member of parliament in Tanzania, correct? Yes. yes. But he's not, to your knowledge, a witness in these proceedings, is he? He's not. So is it your evidence, based on what you say in your first and second witness statements, that this sitting member of parliament, who is a trained geologist, and the entire mining advisory board, mistakenly approved the retention licenses? Not mistakenly, but they didn't meet requirements. Not mistakenly, but the application didn't re meet the requirements. The approval was based on leniency. But, sir, is that what your lawyers told you to say? Why? No. So, I'm telling all of you these, what they know. All of these people, including yourself, got it wrong in 2013 and 2014. Is that what you're telling this tribunal? No, I'm saying we knew, but we wanted to encourage investment. But you're not going to tell this tribunal that their approval was somehow invalid, 
Are you? It was approved, so it's not valid. It is valid. 